pineapple, one of Ghana's non-traditional export crops, have for some time now been in demand from a number of countries. To sustain this achievement and do even better, it's important to adhere strictly to the standards set for this competitive market by the European Union's Europe Gap, now with Global Gap and with Fair Trade. This video is the first of four that's aimed at showing recommended agricultural practices to be followed in pineapple production. Pineapples are best produced in the greater Accra, eastern and central regions of Ghana. They require relatively cool nights with day temperature ranging between 21 and 29 degrees Celsius. An evenly distributed rainfall level of about 600 millimeters is ideal for good growth. Site selection. It's recommended that pineapple farms are sited close to an accessible road. This allows for easy transportation of farm inputs as well as pineapple fruits from the farm to the market centers. Pineapple farms should be sited near a permanent source of water. This is because water is essential in carrying out farm activities such as mixing of foliar fertilizers and other chemicals. Summary points for site selection. It must be close to a major road close to a permanent water source with well-drained loamy soils. Land preparation. To establish a new farm, slash, burn and manually stump the field. Manual stumping preserves the rich topsoil for the plant's use. Plough the field two times across the slope and harrow two times. Good land preparation encourages good root development and helps reduce weed problems. Farms need to be sited on well-drained loamy soils that are free from water logging. Plant on flat land to relatively gentle slopes. Should planting on slopes become unavoidable because of differences in topography on large farms, create appropriate drainage channels that will let out excess and stagnant water from the field. Steep slopes encourage gully erosion and loss of the rich topsoil. On already existing farms, plough immediately after harvesting the final suckers. This enables the old mother plants and other organic matter to be uprooted and embedded under the soil and eventually become rotten. Practice crop rotation by planting the field with cereals, pulses or plant cover crops such as mucuna or proraria. Allow the field to fallow for at least three years. This practice helps to reduce the incidence of pests, diseases and other notorious weeds that prevailed in the previous crop. After the fallow, plant a new crop. Plough the field back two times across the slope. Leave two to three weeks between the first and second ploughing to allow the embedded organic matter to rot. Harrow two times thoroughly. 
To plant on ridges, prepare ridges with the following dimensions. The width at the top of the ridge between 60 and 70 centimeters. The height of the ridge, 30 centimeters. The space between two ridges, 50 to 60 centimeters. When there's too wide spacing between ridges, it encourages weed problems. Ensure that the surface of the ridges are leveled to avoid water collecting at depressions created on the ridges. Such stagnant water creates dampness around the crops, predisposing them to fungal diseases like Phytophthora. The summary points for land preparation. Slash, burn and manually stump the field. Plow two times, harrow two times. Planting on black polythene or plastic mulch. Before covering the ridges with plastic mulch, apply a basal fertilizer. For every acre of 24,000 plants, mix eight bags of monoammonium phosphate, MAP, and three bags of sulfate of potassium, SOP, and one bag of urea. For every 100 feet long ridge containing 240 plants, apply three and a half tomato cans of the mixed fertilizer. Spread evenly over the ridge. Work the fertilizer into the soil lightly. Cover the ridge with black plastic mulch. Ensure that the plastic mulch is in firm contact with the ridge. Bury firmly at the sides with soil. Ensure that there are no air pockets underneath the mulch. The plastic or polythene sheets used as mulch help to conserve moisture and also help to control weeds. Planting materials, selection and treatment. Select planting materials from only healthy, well-maintained and disease-free mother plants. Pick suckers, the preferred planting material, from your own farm or from a verified and certified source only. Control harvest suckers by turning the butt end up on the mother plant to expose them to the sun for at least two sunny days. Grading suckers. Select and grade suckers according to weight and size, that is, large, medium, and small. The acceptable weight for planting ranges between 250 and 450 grams. Trim large suckers before planting to stop the suckers falling over easily. Discard suckers with diseases and other deformities. Remove basal leaves to expose hidden roots for faster root development after planting. It also exposes mealybugs and ants that are hidden in these basal leaves and allows for effective treatment of the sucker. Sucker treatment or dipping. Treat or dip all suckers with the recommended fungicide such as Agriet and Plan D insecticide before planting. To treat, fetch 15 litres of clean water into a big bowl. Add 80 grams of agriet, which is approximately one milk tin leveled to the water. Add 80 mils of Plan D to the water. Top up with another 15 litres of clean water. Pick up suckers by holding the crown area and dip the butt end in the mixture 
for at least one minute. Air dry the treated suckers in an upright position for at least two hours. This helps the moisture to penetrate better. Plant within 24 hours. Good sucker selection and grading ensures a fair uniformity in plant performance and yield. Planting. Planting out on ridges with plastic mulch. Create a hole with a flat piece of wood or a planting hoe. Insert the sucker and firm the side. The space between two pineapple rows on the ridge is 30 centimeters. The space between two plants in a row is 25 centimeters. And the space from the pineapple to the edge of the ridge is 15 centimeters. Ensure that the pineapple is firm in the soil for better root development.